Hear that? That's the sound of my voice traveling through the air hitting that mountain over there and traveling back to me. And the time it takes between you shouting hello and when your ears hear is determined by the distance between you and whatever your voice is bouncing off of. Okay, sounds pretty simple, right? Well, that's exactly how echo radars work. This episode of Test Tube 101 is brought to you by the United States Air Force. An echo radar emits a sound wave and then waits for the echo to come back to its receiver. By timing the returning echo, you can work out exactly where another object is. And when using multiple receivers positioned at different angles, it can determine the basic size of an object that the sound waves have bounced off of. But if we add an additional layer, we move into Doppler radars. Doppler radars emit a radio wave too, but also keep track of the radio wave's phase. Basically, its shape, position, and form. When the radio wave returns, it's measured again to check for any changes in its phase. If the frequency came back shifted negative, the object it bounced off of is likely moving away from the radar. And if the frequency came back positive, that object is headed toward the radar. Speed can be determined by the amount of shift that takes place in the radio wave. And this technology is used every day by the United States Airmen who go above and beyond to break barriers both professionally and personally every day. Oh, and ever wonder what RADAR stands for? Well, it's an acronym for Radio Detection and Ranging. Makes sense. Well, there you have it. And if you enjoyed this video, you may also like this one about how our two ears hear in three dimensions. So if a sound hits your left ear slightly before your right ear with minimal reflections, your brain will tell you that the sound came from the left of your face. 